Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Carla Prepper. Now, I've seen people do these videos before where they choose, if they could choose three different items to put in their bug out bag and only three, which ones would they choose? <clears throat> so that's what this video is. That's, uh, that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to pick three, different, three survival items that are the most crucial and the most necessary and the most required of all. Um, you could ask yourself, what's the, what's the point with these videos? After all, you don't have to choose only three things to take. You can choose 50 things to take right now, right? All right, well, say you're out of town. Say you're in Minneapolis. Say you're in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and you don't have any of your preps, no bug out bag, no nothing. Shit hits the fan if you, you've only got so much cash on hand. You've only got so much cash on hand to, to pick three different things um, to take with you. Uh, obviously, uh, you could be in a situation here in a hospital or something and you can only grab a couple of things to bring to the hospital, and you might be there for a while, and the shit might hit the fan while you're in the hospital. So uh, you, you gotta pick and choose, you know, you might have to pick and choose only three things to take to the hospital. You don't want to have them go through your whole bug out bag and inventory it and everything like that over at the hospital. Um, so this is my video of the three different things that I would choose if I could only choose uh, three to take with me. First, I'll do the runners up. Um, these, are the, these are the things that almost made the cut and didn't. Um, we've got, these are not in order, by the way. A water bottle. Um, water is very, very crucial. On the subject of water, we've got a water filter. Um, that did not make the cut. We've got a Coleman folding saw. Very nice, very durable, very functional but did not make the cut. And then we've got fire. Did not make the cut. The three things I chose, first of all, a heavy winter coat. Second of all, a heavy wool blanket. And last but not least, a duffel to carry it in. Um, now, that exposure is going to kill you a lot quicker than anything else. Uh, it will kill you quicker than thirst. It will kill you quicker than hunger. Uh, exposure, maintaining your core temperature is crucial. Um, exposure will kill you very, very quickly if you have no blanket, you have no heavy coat. Um, as for this, I chose to bring this uh, duffel as my third item. Uh, but uh, you, need to, you need something to carry the stuff in. Um, you can't walk around in your heavy coat on a 90 degree day in the heat because the heat can kill you too. You know, you need protection from the heat and the uh, cold. Um, so uh, you need to store your coat in something and carry it along uh, and the blanket too. You need to be able to store the, the coat and the blanket in something. That's why I chose this duffel as my third item. Um, in any case, um, that's my little uh, rigmarole about the top three survival items you can get. You know, remember, uh, exposure is the real, real killer. Um, as far as water goes, I don't have any water purification. I don't have any water bottle. Uh, you know, I, I plan on just drinking from the brook. I've gone through um, how to spot safe water in other videos. But remember, before 120 years ago, nobody ever drank any treated water at all. Uh, if, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you know how to spot water that is likely uh, clean, um, well, I'll go through it. So you want the, the, you want the water to be, have three C's, to be in the category of three C's. Right in the current, cool, and clear. And you don't want water that is stagnant, warm, or cloudy. Um, and then uh, you can just drink straight from the brook if you find decent water like that. Again, before 120 years ago, Nobody ever drank any treated water at all. Um, yeah, you might get sick if you're unlucky. If you're real, real unlucky, you might die. Uh, but I, I think you'd have to be pretty darn unlucky. Um, in any case, uh, exposure will kill you a lot quicker than um, thirst. And uh, if I'm in, ever in this situation where these are the things I have to take, I plan on just drinking water from the brook. And there's things you can find to eat, things like that. Uh, my favorite thing to, to, to go and eat, um, I do this a lot, is just uh, dandelion flowers. 
and then just pluck them and eat them. They're not bad. They're pretty good. You can find different. I've done I've done videos on that too on, on what to eat and everything like that. Um, in any case, um, this is Colorado Prepper signing off. Peace out.